you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not not the problem for me. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please let me know if you have any problem from your side. We have a technician now today helping us. We have Jibreel and we have in the lighting and decoration in the studio, we have Israfil. And in case something wrong happened and for one of you, we have Azrael. And I found today a very interesting video. Actually, I just after I, you know, I decided to go live YouTube suggest to me because I was searching for the pictures, you know, for the picture I put in the thumb. So I typed the word Ustad and then I got this video. And this video is called How to Get Rid of an Anxiety. That's deep. And Sheikh and Ustaz Abdul Samud is going to teach you how to get rid of an anxiety. And the funny is this video have English subtitle, which is even make it more funny. I said, I don't know what he is talking about, but you know, let me click. Maybe there's an English there. And there was English. <laughs> oh boy. So the Sheikh Samud, peace be upon him. I don't know what he is wearing. Uh, he is teaching the Indonesian how to fight an anxiety. The, the Sheikh Samud, how you do that? I'm really curious. Layang di udara, datang takut, datang ngeri, datang cemas, datang takut mati. Tidak ada yang bisa menenangkan kecuali zikir mengingat Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Makanya orang yang naik pesawat. That's it. He solved the problem. You are suffering. You know. You are afraid from airplane, you fear death, you have an anxiety. What do you do? You remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I have a question to Mr. Abdul Samud, who for some reason he moved his, his mouth to the wrong direction. As long Islam, by remembering Allah, we can fight anxiety. And actually he mentioned, like in the video, you, have, you say, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. You know, actually, he said, with abdihi. You do not even know how to say it. Wa bihamdihi. It, uh, this is how it should be said. Bihamdihi, not bihamdihi, you idiot. So, you say, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. And then your anxiety is gone. I'm going to show the Indonesian that those people are a fraud and they are laughing at you. How come, who is the one who was remembering Allah more, you or Muhammad? Did Muhammad himself try to commit suicide? If this is how easy to fight the anxiety, is just to remember Allah. Okay, we got a point there. But now we have a prophet of God who supposedly a prophet of God and who remember Allah more than the prophet of God peace be upon him the most beloved prophet to Allah and his shin Muhammad so look what Muhammad what happened to him after Waraq ibn Nufal he died the prophet becomes so sad actually it me I'm going to open it because I know that Indonesian people they are going to use uh, this video for their own channels so I'm going to use Google Peace Be Upon Him translation. But after we read this in English first. So here it says the divine inspiration stop. Oof, oof, why? Because a guy he died? Ah, this waraqa he is very connected to Allah. I think Allah he was in, in anxiety too. He heard the news that waraqa died. Allah was like 40 days. He's grieving, crying, you know, what a qaida, you know. And then the inspiration of Allah stopped. Have you ever heard of such a stupid story? 
So the inspiration and the divine, obviously, Uraqa, he was the one writing for Muhammad, what to say. So the divine inspiration was also paused mm, for a while. That's deep. And the prophet becomes so sad and anxiety. Look at the anxiety. Where are you, Sheikh Abdul Samud, Ustaz Abdul Samud? Why you don't tell the prophet of Allah? To say, Subhanallah, he will be hamdihi. Just tell him, man. The Prophet now is so much into an anxiety and he is so sad. Hutan, tadi katanya engkau tidak percaya pada doa. Tadi katanya engkau tidak percaya pada Tuhan. Ternyata di lubuk hatimu yang paling dalam, engkau berkata, sesungguhnya aku takut, sesungguhnya aku ngeri, sesungguhnya aku cemas. Maka tidak ada yang bisa mengusir, menghalau rasa takut, rasa cemas dalam hati. Ya, 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 ya. Ya, but you see, I mean, you are fooling those people because as you see, your prophet, the, the first Abdul, he himself, he is suffering not only from anxiety, he is suffering from suicide thought. Read with me and laugh. So he becomes so sad. And uh, uh, Abdul Samud, he says, if you have a belief in your heart, if you believe inside you, if you be so which means if you have a belief in your heart, you can fight anxiety, right? If you have a strong belief, you can fight it easy. Come on. Look like Muhammad, you don't believe, obviously. So he becomes so sad, and we have heard he intended to several times to throw himself from the top of high mountains. Man, that is way bad an anxiety. Indonesian Muslims. Abdul Samud, so, Somad, Somad, his name is Somad? No way. I mean, what's wrong with the names we see in the internet? Yeah, you're right, I'm reading the name wrong. Uh, but sometimes I feel like Prophet Muhammad, I don't know how to read. Somad, Somad, not so much Samud. What the heck, Samud? You made the guy Samud? He's Somad. So mad. That's a perfect name. I mean, look, we have sad guru. This is an, a Hindu guy. He want to teach you how to be happy. And his name is Sad Guru. I mean, I, do you, are you guys, are you listening? Sad Guru, he want to teach you how to be happy. But his name is Sad Guru. This guy, he want to make you fight an anxiety and his name is so mad. What's happening in this world? But your name fit perfectly with the story of the Prophet. When the Prophet, he tried many times to commit suicide, obviously he was so mad. And then if we ask ourselves, it says, as we heard, means not actually true. Oof, 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 oof. Guys, look how the Muslim, they refuted the Christian prince. Brothers and sisters, Christian prince, got busted by brother Muhammad, peace be upon him from the chat. Look at the answer and how solid it is. That's deep. Brother, you must be very well educated. Christian Brins. It says, as we heard, it's mean it's not actually true. So the Muslim, they say what is not true <laughs> in their book of Al-Bukhari. <laughs> and because it's not a true, we put it in the book, brother. I mean, this is really messed up religion. Uh, do you understand, people? Because it's not true. We decide to put it in the most true book of Islam, Al-Bukhari. Because it's a lie. It's not true. I mean, do you see the logic? This is a religion. This is a, this is an awkward shish kebab hummus religion. What do you mean it's true? It, it is in Sahih Al-Bukhari, and if it's not true, why you say it there? I don't care. It's you who said that. You see, 
Don't blame me for something written in Al Bukhari. Why Al Bukhari, your biggest sheikh? Who is the biggest sheikh? So mad? Or Al Bukhari? Who are you? Who are you? So when the Muslims they try to defend, always they try to get rid of anything is embarrassing. Don't the Muslims in the time Al Bukhari they said to him, How in the world do you write this? Why nobody asked him to take it off? Because what we heard is what happened. Everything in the Al-Bukhari is what we heard. You see how stupid you are? When you say this is from narrated from, narrated from, narrated from, narrated from, Al-Bukhari was not there anyway. Do you see guys the excuse? Do you see how silly it is? Everything, everything in Al-Bukhari is we heard. Somebody heard from somebody, from somebody, including even your Quran. Your Quran, you don't have a book. It's called the Quran, the most popular one. There is many of them. Uh, uh, the, the one from Hafs. If you open to page A, it says, this Quran is according to the recitation, not the book, of Hafs ibn Asim, etc. So, all what you have in Islam is according to what we heard, not according to what we saw. You have no witnesses. So when a Muslim, he tried to get rid of an embarrassment story, he tried his best, but it, you know, it shows his foolishness. Because this is Al-Bukhari, and this is the number one book for the Muhammadan. And if it's not true, then you Muslims are a bunch of liars lying about your prophet. Because even when, you, when he say, we heard, he heard from who? He heard from the Muslims. He is not going to report something he heard from a Christian prince. You know that, right? Now we continue. Quran are equally valid. That's a good thing. Hold on. Let me take, let me take a selfie for you. Give me a second. And because now we will show you Muhammad suffering from anxiety in the Quran. <laughs> You know, uh, Abdul Samud, this this is scam. He is saying you you can say you can you can solve any problem by saying uh, uh, Bismillahi wa bihamdihi, Bismillahi wa bihamdihi, Bismillahi wa bihamdihi. That's it. Any problem in the world, my friend, is solved. And this is why those poor countries, you know, their their Islamic leader, they said to them, Insha Allah, tomorrow your life will be better. And those people, a hundred years ago. 200 years ago, 300 years ago, and still every morning they say to them, Inshallah, because Inshallah, Allah never will. Allah doesn't exist. But let us go and continue, even though the Muslims are upset because we are showing them what is written in their book. So the Prophet, each time, the Quran stopped coming to him. This is why it says several times, not once. You know, we can say maybe the first one was not true. What about the second one, the third one, the fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, seventh time? So the prophet, he is so suffering from anxiety to the point he want to kill himself. And obviously, Muhammad, he was trying to go to hell because according to Islam, the one who killed himself, not for the sake of Allah, is going to go to hell. So obviously, Muhammad is not a believer. He's a disbeliever. He cut his hope from Allah. This is what happened to him. The divine inspiration stopped. So now he don't believe in Allah no more. He want to kill himself. People will laugh at him because he is a fraud. Now, each time he tried to throw himself from the top of the high mountain, Jibreel, brother, by the way, Muslims don't have Jibreel. They don't have, sorry, Gabriel, they have Jibreel. He can, he, he, Muhammad, he, have, he cannot even quote the name correctly. So Jibreel, brother, would appear before him and say, Oh, Muhammad, you indeed Allah messenger. And then we're upon of that. Uh, his heart will co calm down and he will return home. But look what happened now. We have Sheikh uh, So Mad from Indonesia. He's saying, if you say Subhanallah, you can fight anxiety and you can fight stress. And you know, you don't have money, Indonesian people. Say Subhanallah, that's it. You are going to send your wife to work as a servant in Saudi Arabia. So the Saudi, they will. You know, use her and abuse her. You know what they do. I'm not going to tell you. Your your government stopped sending, you know, Indonesian women to Saudi Arabia for a long time. 
because of what they do to them there. Good Muslims. Just say Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. You have anxiety that your wife she is going and now she will be abused by the Saudi. Just say Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Allah will send you Rusari right away. The food will come on your table. Hmm. Now listen carefully. As you see, this is a proof that Muhammad is a mentally ill person and he is suffering not from anxiety. He is suffering from mental illness and Allah could not help him. And if you look at the story here, the, the, the poor Muhammad, he go to the top of the mountain and almost he want to throw himself and then, and then the angel will appear to him. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid, mad person like this? Because if an angel appearing to him, shouldn't the angel appear before he go to the mountain? I mean, why you make the guy go all the way up to the top of the Himalaya? And then you appear for him. Why you don't appear to him before he go? You know, like you are an angel. And who is the one who sent the angel? Allah. Don't Allah knows that Muhammad now is so sad and he need help? Why Allah did not send the angel before the, the poor guy take the van and take the taxi or take the three cycle? So now the Prophet Muhammad is in Indonesia. He is in Jakarta, brother. And now he is very sad, brother. Hmm? Let us try to find the solution. And remind me, I will translate the hadith into Indonesian language, you know. All right. Let us see here. All right. I, I will choose a small mountain because I don't want to make it hard for Prophet Muhammad. You know, I like the guy. I mean, come on. It's enough what happened to him. Isn't it enough to be a kid and you marry a woman in the age of your mother just for the sake of her money? So Prophet Muhammad, after what happened, brother, and what happened is very horrible, he was so sad and he is suffering from a very ugly, disgusting anxiety. So Prophet Muhammad, he go from his house. And he start walking. Right now he is in this rock. Now he is here. He's climbing. The prophet, just continue. You are getting there. Oh, I can't breathe. And there is no rope with me. Almost I fail. Yeah, here, no, there is here the rope. Put your hand here. Yeah, put your hand here. Now you can rest. And now walking is easier. The prophet is going, and the prophet is going. And this is a really big mountain, I mean. You keep going, keep going, keep going. And then the prophet in the top, you know, like he keep going, keep going. The prophet, by the way, he can jump from here, from this spot, but no, because he would die if you do it from there anyway. No, the hadith says from the top of the high mountain. I mean, look at this guy. He don't want to jump from 50 meter high. And not even from a hundred meter high. He want to go to the top of the mountain because he was the top at that his time. He was Einstein. So the prophet, he decided to go up to the top of the mountain, top of the mountain, top of the mountain, top of the mountain. And he arrived, he looked around him, there is no more top except the bathtub. And now he decided to jump. He said, Allahu Akbar. And before he jumped, Jabril brother, he appeared before him. And Jibreel, you know, very, very skilled in suicide cases. I mean, this guy, he is the guy. I'm telling you, he is the guy. If you have a problem, bring Jibreel. All right? So Jibreel, brother, he appeared in front of a prophet Muhammad here. Those are his two wings. He's a flying, you remember, he's an angel. Come on. Okay? So he's, he appeared in front of him, like Casper. You know Casper in the cartoon? Uh, so Casper and Jibreel, he appeared before Prophet Muhammad, and he said to him, 
Prophet Muhammad truly, truly, you are in truth a prophet of Allah. And the prophet, he looked at the angel, he says, really? The angel, he says, yes, really. The angel, okay. With Muhammad, he said, okay. Ugh. All right. So what I should do now? We go home. Okay. And now the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He have to do the same as he did to go up. So now he go down, he go down, he go down, he go down. You know, and we are erasing his trace because we don't want the kuffar to know where he was. I like, come on, CIA, Tura Bora, you know, as Zawahiri, Osama bin Laden, you know what happened. So now Prophet Muhammad, he go home. Second day in the morning, Prophet Muhammad, he tried to do the same. I mean, isn't it obvious this guy is a mentally ill? The angel just, he appeared to you yesterday and he told you truly, truly, you are, an, you are a prophet. And then you agreed and you decided to go home. Second day, the same guy, the same Abdul Muhammad, the first Abdul in the world, he decided to go again in the top of the mountain. And again, Prophet Muhammad, the brother, he tried to jump in the mountain, but this time he took this direction. He's trying to, you know, to, to like, to make it harder for the angel to find him. So he go here and he took the rock here, took shortcut, highway 67, and he, he take, you know, 91 and 78. And then, you know, he 101 and he is here now. And now he want to jump. And Allah is watching carefully, brother. Angel Jibreel, he appeared for him again. This time, Angel Jibreel, he looked like a walnut. I mean, I don't know why he looked like, don't ask me. I'm very good in drawing, by the way. I was number one in the classroom in Saudi Arabia, where nobody allowed to draw because it's haram. So here, Jibreel, he said to him, Habibi, Habibi Muhammad, didn't I say to you yes, just yesterday, that you are a truly prophet of Allah. Why you are coming again to do it again? Prophet Muhammad said to him, yesterday was yesterday and today is today. And today I'm going to commit suicide. Zibreel, he said to him, okay, listen to me. I'm going to say to you what I said to you yesterday. Listen carefully. Truly, 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 you are messenger of Allah. Prophet Muhammad, he said to him again, really? The angel, he said, yes, really. Prophet Muhammad said, okay, now I feel better. My anxiety is really better. And now Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he go down the mountain again and he go home. Now, because Jibreel, he knew that the Prophet Muhammad, he is going to do it. He knew what he's dealing with. You know, he said to himself, I'm not going to fly every day, go there on top of the mountain. You know what? I'm going to stay here. So Jibreel, he made a tent in the sky you know his tent is weird because he is an angel you know i mean just think about it okay look like a table so he's under the table now so zibril he decided to wait for prophet muhammad here and he was like president uh, kim jong song 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 from north korea he put the you know the telescope in his eyes and he is watching for prophet muhammad when he is coming so he can say to him the exact sentences. Hmm. Okay, I, I guess some of you don't understand the situation until now. It's very complicated. We are talking about the Prophet of Allah. And he is the favorite one. This is not just a normal Prophet. This is the most important one. So, brother and sisters, Prophet Muhammad, he is very important to Allah. And now everybody is waiting for Prophet Muhammad when he will climb the mountain again. Kim Jong Sin Song, uh, I don't know, I mean, uh, Putin, everybody is waiting for what will happen tomorrow, the Prophet, he will do it again. I hope he will not be successful because that the destiny of mankind is dependent on the Prophet Muhammad. I mean, if we, if there is no Muhammad, we will get no versions. Is that what do you want? Don't you want versions? All of us will want versions. 
and you know you know especially their qualification you know they are very good so and you know like when 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 jibril by the way uh, he tell prophet muhammad that don't do it you are truly prophet you will see that kim jing song fin song he was really happy like wow, finally he is going home man this idiot he is not going to use nuke alhamdulillah you know because people they were worried if a prophet muhammad fell in the ground what will happen he will explode tnt inside him my friend this is the biggest terrorist in the world so the story we see in front of us is showing us that muslims when they speak about anxiety and how to solve it by remembering allah it's a big fat lie because their prophet himself he was suffering from the biggest anxiety ever and he was mentally ill and now let us go to the quran ah i forgot i'm going to translate this hadith to the indonesian language oh i forgot that okay hold on uh, first we uh, i will copy the text here we will use google translation Let us open Google Translation. First, we will go here in this page and we will use Google Translation to the page as it is. So the Indonesian Muslim, they will not say he is adding words, making up words. Translate, uh, no, translate not to English. Translate to Indonesian. Okay, we need to change the language. How we can change the language? Hold on, give me a second. I'm just, uh, I'm going to ask Zabril how to do that. Translate to English. Now here we are going to change the language. Okay, choose another language. Uh, Indonesian. Where is the Indonesian? I don't see Indonesian. Maybe they don't call it Indonesian in the list, what the Bahasa, Bahasa, something. Let us see. Uh, here we go. We found Indonesian. All right. Translate. So now we found Indonesian translation for the Hadith. Now I don't know really where in the Hadith here in the Indonesian language it says what it says, but it is going to be at the end of the Hadith anyway. So it should be from this part here and down. So I think here it says, Tabi Satila Barbecue Kari Waraka Mingalu Dan Ilham Elahi Ju Bahanati Antuk Samanatara Wakatu. Okay, I mean, uh, it's clear. So Waraka Bnu Nufar, he died. And the Prophet, he became so. So the Nabi, uh, uh, the Prophet of Allah, he became so sad. Menjadi, uh, Sangat, he was a lot of Sangat. Menjadi and Sangat, as, as you can imagine, a lot of anxiety. And the uh, Sadi, Karina, Kami, Tala, Manda, Mandagar. This is, I'm telling you, it was really hard to the point he was, he, he reached the point of Mandanigar. This is like the top in Indonesian language, you know. And you will see here each time. Uh, you know, he go to the top of the mountain and then the angel Jibreel, he appeared to him, as you see here, Jibreel, he appeared to him and he said to him, uh, Jibreel Naik, what the heck? I thought Zakir Naik only is Zakir Naik. Because, no, this is the one before it. Dia Naik, why Naik is here? What the heck? Zakir Naik is here too in the Hadith. I think he was from the complaint of Prophet of Allah or maybe he was an angel. He looked like one actually. So Dia Naik, Naik, Bunaka can I don't know like what uh, hold on hold on I need I need to focus because you see uh, I I'm very good in the Indonesian language I'm, I'm telling you but sometimes what is where is my sunglasses because you know because now we are in the mountain and I'm reading the heat in the mountain so let me read it carefully now okay I think now it's getting better Naik bananu bunaka bona cake bona cake okay bona cake we got the cake here. So Gonarang, Otarang, uh, Mantarajonang, uh, Dariana, Jibril, 
الكان مركول دي هاندي كاب دان بركاتا هي محمدة أرضا أمانج أولسان أولستان الله. So here the the angel he told him you are truly the messenger of Allah. And then when he said that to him, a prophet of Allah, you know, he dalam like he became so like calm, you know, dalam and a caravan and the Yaman hit hit Yan. I mean everything into the end. You know, just add end. In Indonesian, you speak Indonesian very easy, you know. As you see, Karaban, Karabaran, Diamaman, Hatayan, Akan, okay? And Minjadi, Tenenang, Dan, Diya, Akan, you know, it's very clear. So now, Prophet Muhammad, after the angel Zabriel, peace upon him, he told him that you are a truly prophet. The prophet, he became so excited, like, hey, I'm a prophet of Allah. And he jumped like a happy feet. And you know, like when they take selfie, you know, he jumped on his feet. They hit each other. Hey, I'm prophet of Allah. And now he's excited and he killed the anxiety. He go home. And then when he go home, right away, he arrive home, he start crying again. <laughs> I am not receiving an inspiration. Yeah. So listen carefully. The hadith is authentic, but the person as Zohri, wasn't there? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let us go to the Quran because the Muslim they try to defend in a very funny way. What about the Quran? Is the Quran is authentic too? This is Al Bukhari. Stop playing games, potato. Come on. Let us go to the Quran, the yellow pages of the anxiety. Let us see Muhammad and his anxiety. Muhammad is suffering from an anxiety of women. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Chapter 66, verse number 4, and verse number 5, and verse number 6. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let us tell you what marrying many women can do to you. When the prophet, he told his wives a matter of confidence, one of his wife, Hafsa, when she told the other wife, Aisha, Allah made it known to him. Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> this is the book of God? <laughs> <laughs> so when Allah he spoke to Susu, Susu told Mimi and Mimi she said to Mimi what the Prophet told her not to say to Mimi and the Prophet Allah told him that Susu told Mimi and now look look the, the, the things is getting more complicated so he informed part thereof and left a part like what the heck is that so Allah told him a part and he did not tell him the rest of the part. Why? Ah, uh, the file was missing some papers. Uh, no, Allah was sending the fax and electricity, you know, like is gone. So he did not receive the whole fax. Then when he told her Hafsa, therefore she said, who told you this? This is the book of God. And this is the book, the Muslim, they say, nobody can make Quran like it. Who told you this? Who told you this? Huh? Like this is Allah talking. I am getting anxiety now. So when he told her, Hafsa, therefore she said, who told you this? He said, the all knower and all aware Allah has told me. Wow, that's deep. Ah, look, look, look. Look, look at this. Mr. Muhammad Balbuli. Muhammad Balbuli, are you from Indonesia, my friend? Why you don't call me? You don't want to call me? Why you don't call me? Do you like to call me? Are you a sheikh? If you are a sheikh, you know, call me and shake me. <laughs> shake my faith. <laughs> so look, guys, Allah did not tell him directly, but instead hinted at it. That's deep. Hinted. Allah did not tell him directly. 
he, can you tell us how this happened, Mr. Muhammad Balbuli? So what Allah said to him? So Allah, he knew that Muhammad is so crazy. So he told him, uh, listen, Muhammad, you have wives at home, right? But he said, yes, sir. He said, okay. Um, do you know a woman? Her name is Hafsa. Prophet said, yeah, I remember. I have one of them. I think her name is start with letter H. Allah, he said, okay, her name is Hafsa. Prophet, he said, well, I remember H. He said, okay, but I'm telling you, her name is Hafsa. Okay, but I remember the first letter is H. Okay, Prophet, forget about H now. Her name is Hafsa. I'm going to give you a hint. So, did you say anything to Hafsa lately? Prophet Muhammad, he'll think about it. Hafsa told her. I don't even remember because, you know, uh, I have a very good memory and I don't remember anything, you know. Did you say anything, anything? No, I did not say the word anything to her. No, no, Muhammad, I'm asking you, did you say anything to her? I, I told you, I did not say that. I never used the word anything because like even when she is cooking, if she have, you know, I don't say to her, like you, she said to me, you want to eat? I never said anything, you know, because she's crazy. She would have me boo-boo. So I never used that word. Muhammad, no. I'm going to give you a hint. Did she say, did you say to her anything, anything, like something? You did say something? Oh, okay. Yeah, I said to her something. What you said? Something. Like, no, no, Muhammad. I'm I'm trying to give you a hint about what happened. Hey, Muhammad Balbuli, what do you mean he gave him a hint? The Quran in the front of you, it says, Allah told him. Read, read, read. What's wrong with Muslims? Allah made it known to him. Hint. And now, why Allah is even involved? So look, look at the anxiety of Muhammad to the point Allah in the seven galaxies, behind the seven eleven, he is busy. This is the God who created the universe, this massive world. He is worried about Muhammad, told Hafsa. Hafsa told Aisha. Aisha, she told Sauda. Sauda, she told Mimi. Mimi told Susu. Susu told Dudu. And now the whole town talking about it. So Allah, he have to fix it. So he made a verse in the Quran. He made a chapter. He sent it to Muhammad. And look what happened. So when he told her, Hafsa, therefore she said, who told you this? He said, the all-knower, the all-aware, Allah has told me. And then Allah, the, look at the Quran, how beautiful it is. You know, the funny is, Mr. Muhammad Balbuli is asking me what the chapter it is, but a second ago, he was answering the chapter. I mean, do you see how the Muslims are good in their religion? He was answering what the chapter meant but you do not know until now what a chapter we are talking about. I think you are Ustaz so mad, aren't you? What chapter is this? So you were answering me, we do not know in which chapter we are talking about? Genius, you know, Muslims are genius, you know. Actually, the word genius, by the way, is coming from Islam. He's a genie and he always say yes, genius. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? The most obvious stupid is religion. So look at this. This is God. And now Allah, he told him. And what is the verse after it? What the verse after it have to do with the verse before it? Who's talking now? Supposedly Allah. But this is a conversation supposedly between Muhammad here and his wives. What does verse have to do with this? Why it's there? So if you do... Hmm, between two bracket, the wife of Prophet so so short wave, you know Muhammad, Muhammad he never go a long wave or FM, he's always short wave. Namely Aisha and Hafsa. Turn into repentance to Allah. The Muslim they say, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Repentance to Allah. Is that how bad it is? They need to repent. But look what the stupid Muhammad he said in the previous verse in the Quran. He said that bad women marry bad men. <laughs> and good women. <laughs> is, it, is, that, is that the Quran says? And guys, look at the translation. 
Look at the translation. Bad statement are for bad people. But what bad statement? We are talking about husband and wife. Husband and wife in the religion of Islam because a statement? Hey girls, anyone want to be my statement? So we can have babies together in the future, get married? Who want to be my statement? I'm looking for a statement. I'm going now to go a dating website. No, actually, sorry, what dating site? I'm going to a statement website looking for a statement uh, you know female so we can have a family together it says al khabithatu lil khabithin was well, i mean how in the world uh, unbelievable female women she became a statement let us change the translator i mean this guy he is getting not a translation for sure he's getting a statement somewhere i mean he is in the state of chaos Yeah, from now on, if you are a Muslim and you see a female, don't ever say to her you are a female. Tell her you are a statement. Look, 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 look. We just changed the translator. The word statement became women. Look, what the heck? Do you see it? We just changed the... We did not change the book. We changed the translator. And suddenly now, women impure are for men impure. And men impure for women impure and men with like what the heck first of all where do you get the word impure from habith have nothing to do with being pure you idiot i mean what's wrong with those muslims do you know what the pure mean let us go and see different translation this is joseph ali you remember asar qadi he says joseph i don't speak i don't speak arabic <laughs> Even their sheikh who translated the Quran, he don't speak Arabic. Go watch the video of, of, of Fiasr Qadi. Let us go to Shakir. Ah, unclean things. Like what the heck? Look, 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 look. A second ago, it was a statement. Bad statement for, uh, you know, okay. And now, in the second verse, impure women for impure uh, whatever. Now, any clean things, women, they became things. I know it. I always thought about women that they are a human like us, but they are not. You know the thing? If you don't believe me, ask, Jack, uh, uh, ask uh, Joe Biden. You know the thing? So any clean thing, so women, they became unclean thing for unclean ones. Okay, I will go with this one. So how Aisha, she is an unclean thing, she became married to unclean one. Is Muhammad is unclean one? Change the translator. Again, this is chapter 24, verse number 26. I will keep trying, not changing what I can do. Hey, hold on, hold on. I'm going to learn for, look for Indonesian translation. Where is the Indonesian? You guys tell me what it says in Indone Indonesian. Okay, hold on, I need to... Oh, here we go. Indonesian is here. No, not this one. Indonesian is here. Bahasa, Bahasa, Indonesian. All right. Okay. Come on, Rabbi, come on. Here we go. I'm getting dizzy already. Wananita, Wananita. This is, this is two Wananita. Two Wananita. Hey, Indonesian, tell me what Wananita means. In Saudi Arabia, the word one eight is for a pickup truck. What Juanita mean? Juanita, 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 Yang Kiji Dala Adalaha Omatuk Laki Laki Yana Kiji Dan Laki Laki Yang Kiji Da. It's very easy to speak in you know Indonesian. Just repeat the word twice, and that will will take you to like somewhere, you know. So, ah, uh, okay. Juanita, Juanita is a woman. So why it says to Juanita, Juanita? Uh, because there are too many women, right? Uh, I, I remember now. I remember from, you know, because I have an accident. Once, uh, was, uh, once I was in Indonesia. And uh, like, I used to have four wives, uh, to be honest with you. And then one of them in Indonesia, they have big bananas, big, huge banana. So the wives, they start fighting and they throw a banana at each other. And the banana is like six feet, each one of them. So they throw a banana and I was trying to fix it between them and one of the banana was flying the speed of flight. Well, Indonesian women are very strong. Like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. you know, like, you know, in the movie, like, you know, there's a banana, they go like, 
and they come back like you know they have like a curve exactly the same so they and like psh, psh, then they are shooting like Aisha and Hafsa you know they are fighting now so one of the bananas she like you know hit me and since then I, I forgot my language but now I'm, uh, the memory is coming back so Juanita Juanita because there's too many not one woman Juanita 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 Yankee G Adalaha and Antuk Laki Laki okay you get the point all right I think I think we are we are clear in this. So what the what the stupid Quran saying that bad women for bad men and that the Quran is so stupid to the point it's repeat the same thing twice. You just said you just said bad women for bad men. So why you are saying bad men to bad women? Isn't it the same? I mean, do you see the stupidity? We just said bad women they marry bad men. So do we need to say again? that bad men marry bad women as long bad women they will marry bad men already we said that so why we need to say bad women they marry bad men marry bad women now based on this going back to the previous verse Aisha and Hafsa Allah is asking them to repent and actually in Arabic it says Qad sagat which means your heart became in decline and became kuffar so as known the Quran says bad women they marry bad men and bad men they marry, marry bad women then that means Muhammad was a bad man and here we see the anxiety of Muhammad so how Muhammad did not fix it by subhanallah wa bihamdihi his wives are fighting say subhanallah wa bihamdihi like what the, the Sheikh Abdul in Indonesia lying to those poor people do you Muslim receive a verse when you fight with your wife? Why Allah will not send every Muslim a verse to fix the fight between the wife and the husband? Hmm? Any Muslim? Is that fair? That Muhammad, he have a special shrink to fix the anxiety of a prophet Muhammad and now his two wives are fighting. And you know here, the wives of Muhammad, uh, uh, they are fighting, right? Let us go back. Let us go back a few steps. If you go to chapter 2, verse number 102, who is the one who created the anxiety of a husband and wife fighting? Anyone remember? Who is the one? Uh, my Skype is not open, uh, Riza. I'm not going to open Skype tonight. tonight. So, uh, if if you have a sheikh from Indonesia, you want to debate me, I can stop this uh, live broadcast right away, and we can open different title with his name. You know, we will make him famous, and we will make a special occasion for him, and shish kebab and hummus. Takbir. So, who is the one who created a school? He sent down a church. Uh, sorry, uh, 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 an angel of Harry Potter. To teach people black magic. Who was the one who did that? Allah. So the fight between the wives of Muhammad and the fight between Muhammad and his wives is the reason for it, the anxiety of it, because of Allah. He sent two angels, their name is Harut and Marut, to open a school to teach black magic so the wife and the husband, they will fight each other. Let us go and switch to the Indonesian as long as this is made for Indonesian people. I'm going to switch to Indonesian language translation to make it easier for later for those who will use this video. Where is the Indonesian language again? Uh, Indonesian, here we go, Bahasa. I like the Indonesian language. Really, I like it. It's true I get dizzy when I see all those letters connected together, you know, but still it's nice. Dan Marika. Marika sounds like a Greek. I know Marika. You know, when I went to Greek last, last time, I, 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 I have some Pepsi with my neighbor. She was, her name is Marika. And, uh, like, you know, and she invited me to eat macaroni. So, Dan Marika, Managawati, Abba Young, Abba Kisatora, blah, blah, blah. So Salimani brother, he is not the one who became a kafir. It was the shaitan who became a kafir. Have you ever done a stupid thing like this? I mean, shaitan is a shaitan. Shaitan became kafir. 
and shaitan is the one who teach people magic so and then after that he says it was the angel who teach people magic the same verse the same lines one says shaitan became kafir have you ever heard of a stupid statement they are already shaitan you idiot so what do you mean the kafara? Unbelievable. And then the shaitan, they are the one who teach magic, brother. Like, what the heck? But the same verse says that the one who taught magic is the angels. The one who wrote this book is mentally ill. And then Nabli ya tu Harut dan Marut. You see, uh, Harut dan Marut. That is like there's some music in my ears. Harutun Marutun, Harutun Marut. Ankabutun, 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 Ankabut. What the heck is that? Uh, you know, I'm inspired now by the Zibril. I just made uh, like um, magical words. So all the statement, you know, I'm not going to use the word women no more. All the statement here, they will listen to me carefully. Listen to me statement. I'm going to make a statement. If you don't behave, I'm going to send Harut and Marut. And they taught me a lot of tricks. I can fight. I can make you fight with your husband. And then he will not pay for your nails. You want that to happen to you? You will have ugly names. You will not be able to sharp them. And you know what will happen to you if you cannot sharp them? How you Aisha is going to put your nails in the neck of a Prophet Muhammad? How you Hafsa, you are going to scratch his body because he is evil. You cannot no more because your nails now are not sharp. So this is my clear statement. In the name of Allah, the most uh, aggressive, the most stupid. So Harut and Marut, they open a school of Harry Potter and they teach people how to do magic and the purpose of this magic is to make the wife and the husband fight. Look how decent Allah is. I mean, this God, he is thinking about you people. You see, we are talking about a video how to fight an anxiety. Isn't this the title of the video of this Indonesian uh, fake ostage? We do not know how to say two Arabic words together. How to fight in anxiety. Is that how we fight anxiety? We open a school to teach wife and husband to fight each other. And who is the one who do that? Allah. Do you see it? So if they fool you and they lie to you and they say you fight anxiety by saying subhanihi wa bihamdihi and then we find that Allah himself is opening a school of Hari Potter in Baghdad. Now I know the story of Sandimad is coming from where? Sandibad, Alibaba, Babylon, the tower, connection, connect the dots together. Unbelievable true story. And you know, I want to know why Allah did not send Harut and Marut in the White House. I mean, the, the whole magic is done there. Those people, they change president, they make a new president, they remove government, they put a new government. I mean, they make whatever they want, magic. Even they can change your gender there, you know? They are really, and now they are, they are thinking deeply about who is a woman. Mm, very smart people. Who is a woman? Stupid idiot Joe Biden. A woman is a statement. Read the Quran. If you are confused about who is a woman, anyone is a statement. <laughs> who is a woman? <laughs> you know, stupidity have not have no time, have no season. Muhammad was a stupid 1400 years ago. History repeats itself. In America, we have the most stupid people ever, too. But do you see how they lie to you and they speak about anxiety? Guys, do you remember? Do you remember? The video about when you go in the bathroom, you have to say a certain prayer. Do you remember the hadith? If somebody have the hadith in English about if you don't say, if you don't pray to Allah before intercourse, shaitan will round yourself around the private part. 
If you have it in English, let me know so we can put it in the screen. This is an anxiety. So now a, per a person, he wanna go to the bathroom. Islam is an anxiety. Islam is a religion make you always worry for stupid things. I, I wish for, for a good reason. So now you wanna go to the bathroom. Hmm? And now, I mean bathroom, what 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 we do in the bathroom? What is the what, what what is the special occasion? It is a special occasion for a Muslim. Anxiety is going to happen if you don't do the following step. You have to enter with your left foot. And you have to say a certain words, Auzu Billahi min al-Khubsi wal Khabaith. Let us see if we can find the video. According to Muslims, Shaitan is in the bathroom. If I search right now for videos in YouTube for Shaitan in the bathroom, you will find a trillion video made by Muslims. Jinn in the bathroom. So the Muslim now he go, he wanna just he wanna pee. He want to piss, he want to do poo, poo but he is worried now about what will play with his anus. Islam is a religion of an anxiety. No, not that one, the one you gave me. I want the one it says he round himself around the penis, that one you gave me. I don't think it says that in details. Uh, take advantage, does not remember. Yeah, they are not translating the one I'm looking for. I want the one where it says he round himself literally around his, you know, penis. Jin in the bathroom, in anxiety right away. I mean, I am home and now I need to go to the bathroom and now I am worried in anxiety. What shaitan will do to me in the bathroom? Look, 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 look. Do you see, guys, this guy in the right side behind you? This is shaitan. He is a genie. And he bought a T-shirt from Walmart. Shaitan in the bathroom. The toilet of shaitan what the heck? I did not see this one video. Hold on, let me see this one. The Twilight of Shaitan. Hold on, give me a second. No. What, 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 what? And I'm being excited now. The Twilight of Shaitan. No. Look, and right away you open the video, you hear the music, the, the, the water of being flushed. Okay, hold on. Are you ready, people? The Twilight of Shaitan? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to a person, after he was informed that he slept to sunrise he said satan has urinated in that man's ear brother islam can fight in anxiety the guy he did nothing he just slept he's tired now he is really really depressed satan he pissed in his ears I mean, let us think about it. I want females who they are married for sure. When their husband, he sleep, bring a flashlight, LED, remember LED. If you don't use LED, it will not work. You have to have a, like a laser or something. And look at his ears. And especially if your husband is not waking up early. Trust me. He is not waking up early, not because he is tired and you are giving him headache in his life. No. Not because it maybe he don't want to see your face. No. Because Shaitan, he piss in his ears. Hey, hey, Abdul, uh, hold on. Shaitan, he piss in his ears. So that now he don't wake up. What does have to do with this? Hmm. 
Look like in Islam, the ears is where the clock work. He's blocked it! <laughs> mm. I wonder why he stinks in the morning. No wonder you stink in the morning. Do you see the in anxiety? Islam fight anxiety, brother. Now, so now you wake up in the morning, you stink. Why? Because shaitan, he piss in your ears. By the way, he piss in your ears, he sleep in your nose, and he jump in your mouth. I mean, this shaitan look like he is a homeless. He have no place to go except your nose. How small this shaitan is? I mean, how the shaitan who is so small, he can piss in your ears, sleep in your nose, jump in your mouth, he can come to Muhammad in a shape of an angel Jibreel who have 600 wings. Do you think this guy, he expand and he shrink himself? That's deep. When you want, he's so big. When you want, he's so small. Look, he's a shaitan in front of me and he's ticklish. Look like he's so small. He's like an ant. <laughs> Unbelievable. And by the way, do you know that even ants, they pray? But this is a different topic. Okay, what else? What else? And look, this guy, I mean, this guy, he looked like a terrorist. Because the urination of Satan is in it. Oh boy. And this is an authentic narration collected by... You must be kidding. Hey, Muhammad Balbul, where are you? He said this is authentic, brother. Are you agreeing or, you know, he heard? Are you agreeing this is authentic or you are thinking this is he heard? In it. And this is an authentic... I wonder why he stinks in the morning. Because the urination of Satan is in it. And this is an authentic narration collected by Al Bukhari. Wow. Hmm. Why we should cover our Yeah, why? <laughs>